Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And one of my people that send me uh, messages all the time gave me a good little hint. And I know this works, but sometimes you just don't think about it. So what I did in the previous video, I filled that in with black. I'm going to nudge it over. I'm going to left click and right click it into black. I'm going to move it back over. And then I'm, let me zoom in here so you can see it. And I'm going to do this to get the shadow effect or the thickness of the brick. And what he suggested, it makes a lot of sense. I had to go through there and find all the, let me actually move this a little bit more. Uh, I had to go through and find all the broken parts through here and delete them because the virtual segment delete key will stop, the lines will stop them. So what he suggested, and it works really good, is just delete that part. Go up here and delete that little part. Whoop, I must have hit a brick. And that's the kind of the problem that will save you. So we're gonna delete that part. Now we're gonna nudge this out of the way. You can barely see the breaks, but go up to object and convert it to a break object apart. And then just take the virtual segment delete key and delete all the rest of them. And then nudge that back and all you have is the copy of the fill or the, the, the shadow is going to be at. So I think that viewer, he's given me many, many suggestions and that one worked good. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.